whole page in OneNote is primarily used for adding and formatting text. It's a blank canvas, so wherever I put my cursor is where the text will be displayed. So I've added some text to this object box here. When I click away, the box disappears. However, if I want to move this text, I simply hover over it and I can drag it to where I want it to sit. I can also make the object box larger by dragging the edge of it. To format the text, I simply highlight the text and use the formatting options along the top. They are very similar to Microsoft Word. So let's make this text slightly larger. I can also change the colour, etc. We also have the Format Painter and we can also clear the formatting. The ellipses allow you to format further by adding subscript, superscript and strike through. If I highlight this text here, I can add some bullet points. I can also have numbered bullet points and I can also decrease the indent or increase the indent. I also have a paragraph alignment tool. The next one, again very similar to Word, is styles. So you can choose if you want your text to have headings. The next icon is the tags. So I'm just going to simply highlight some text on my page because I'd like to create a to-do list. This can be achieved easily by clicking on tags. The drop down menu opens up and you have lots of tags to choose from. So let's try the to-do. I now have a checkbox next to each one of the lists so I can simply click on it to check each one. Other tags that are really useful in a classroom environment is a star tag, question mark, ideas, exclamation marks for critical information. You can also have the source and article so it's a bit like a, a web link tag, highlight tag or the padlock possibly for password information. The next one along the top is your spelling tool. In here you can also hide spelling errors. You can also set the language, really useful for 1 plus 2, and you can customise your autocorrect options. The last option along this toolbar is dictate. Drop down arrow again allows you to choose a different language, so again useful for 1 plus 2.